Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video I am back inside of Siva Notes and I am going to show you how uh, databases works inside of this as I have promised before. So just a quick reminder about how this application works. We have pages and sub pages which is what I am using and I have used the Paro system to build this this workspace out uh, and I will jump into my personal social media right here to actually to actually show you how this works and how databases work so before databases I used uh, tags in order to create myself uh, a list of all of my YouTube video ideas. So if I just press the tag right here, they appear. Uh, and uh, instead of that, I would rather want to make a database for my personal social media ideas. So this is quite easy. You press backslash database. Uh, then you get this. So we have all of the basic things you would need in a database. So we can... Uh, add different views right here by pressing this or by pressing the plus right here we can add new views we can filter things so we can add different filters right here based on the properties we have we can choose how it is sorted and we can actually also search inside of the databases which is a cool feature but it is quite easy to add something new and I will build this out for my personal social medias uh, and that uh, might be a little different from what you are planning uh, to use it for. But anyways, uh, it will at least show you how the databases work. So the first thing is to add uh, a couple of rows. Let's just start with CUM notes databases. Uh, and that is the name of this and to make this into a page that you can jump into you will have to create a new note right here and now you can jump into the page right here uh, so you can easily put it into uh, or uh, make it into a doc and if we jump right here you can see which database it is connected to and you can see the different uh, properties as well when you are inside of the page or the doc as it's called inside of CUL notes. We will give this a title and I will call this social media ideas personal uh, or actually social media ideas in general. Uh, and I will add a couple of properties here. So we have a select property. I want a date property as well. Uh, and I will just add that right here. I want a checkbox as well. Uh, and I may even want a relation property as well. So let's find the relation. And if I wanted to be able to actually put my uh, link for the YouTube video, I could add a link right here as well. So that's the properties I will probably need. Uh, and I will also create myself a couple of views later in this video. But first, let's start off with setting up the different um, the different um, properties inside of here. So I want a couple of things for my select property. But before I add something, I want to give it a name. Uh, I will call this social media. And this decides which social media it goes to. So let's... Uh, say LinkedIn, it is supposed to say LinkedIn, but we will just go with linked uh, and TikTok. We will do one for YouTube as well. And I could keep on going for all of the social medias I actually use. So that would be a couple more. I would add Facebook and IG into here as well. Then we have the date property. Here you can choose an end date as well. This is good if you are actually doing a project. I will make a database for projects later in this video as well. Uh, so you can actually include a end date and you can even include a task which is also good for task management inside of an app like this. 
uh, but you can press right here, you will get this uh, window here and you can choose your date. Let's just choose one for this, press enter and it is fixed. Um, I will call this uh, release date date and I will try to spell this right as well. Actually, let's just call it uh, publishing date, publishing date like this. So that is my publishing date. I will call this done and this is a checkbox I use in all of my databases across different apps to be able to filter things out. More on that later. Uh, this is a relation. I will call this linked resource. Um, it is like this linked resource and this allows me to actually link to uh, one of my other docs inside of my uh, workspace. So if I had one, for example, C1 notes um, script, I could link it to the script, but I don't actually have that. So this isn't something that is necessary, but it is uh, something a lot of people like. Here you can just easily paste a link. But in order to make this work, we actually need a couple of a couple of uh, views inside of here. So this, uh, to get the settings for this, you just have to right click, press rename, and it opens up the settings, or you could press the settings. Here you can get the page count, so how many, um, how many items can be seen in your database uh, at the same time, uh, and you can also choose to remove the database title. I will keep that right now. You can also choose how the different resources are um, uh, in what order they are and you can just drag this to move the order uh, and you can add new ones as well from right here or you could hide them all uh, but i will create myself a new view after i've renamed this one so this will be called all items then i could choose to actually have one for my uh, not done uh, and I could also create one for all of my different um, all of my different social medias if I wanted to but let's start with this uh, not done right here so you can easily add a filter right here by pressing the plus uh, and I will do done is unchecked and you have to press this back right here for it to work. You can see that the filter appears. Once I do this, this should be removed from my not done. That is why I actually use the checkbox filter. You could use this with the date as well. So uh, if you wanted to only show the things you haven't published yet, you could create this for your published date as well. But this is basically how you do filters inside of this. Let's create a new project database just to show you how that works as well. I will jump back into my home page right here and I have my projects right here. I just press it. Um, so again, I used tags for this before we had databases when I made my first when I made my first tutorial on this app and I also do like to have the graph view here but I can uh, easily just remove it because this app has backlinks but database here so here we have a new database and I like to have a couple of um, properties inside of my inside of my uh, project database as well. So here I want actually to have a select property, which I already have. And I would like a checkbox property here as well. Uh, so this will be called done again. And I will also add a date property here. So I will just call this date. Uh, and we have our select property here. The first thing I will do is to add a new uh, project into this. So let's say remodeling kitchen for the sake of this video. Then we have a select property. And as you can see, this is a new 
select property so it isn't based on the other select property I made earlier. Uh, this is a whole new one. I will do areas here. So this is a whole new one. We don't have the properties we had here. So the properties right here, which is called social media, does not appear inside of here. And this is something a lot of apps uh, actually don't have. You have the same type of properties across your databases, but this is a little bit different. So I will, I call this areas because this is about uh, which area of my life this project is attached to. So this is personal. I will have one for social media. I will have one for work and I could go on with this. Uh, another thing I forgot to do actually with this one is to create a new doc right here. I might want to add some linked resources here as well. So new and uh, relation and this is a relation property. I will call this linked resource and add this one as well right here. Uh, in this um, date property, I actually want to add an end time. So I want to see how long the project is supposed to go until until the last day of May like this. I could choose to include time, but uh, I actually don't have a time when this should be finished. But if I had a time, if I had uh, like this project has had to be delivered at two o'clock the last day of May, I could actually add this right here. So let's see if I can find two like this and add it right here. Again, let me just try that one more time. Two, zero, and done. Like this. So um, you could actually include time, but I won't do that for this uh, video. Now you can see that I am easy easily uh, able to see um, my time frame of this uh, project. So remodeling home um, like this and we can open this. That was what I was supposed to do. And you can see that I can see all of the all of the properties inside of this as well. So let me give you a couple of thoughts on my uh, my thoughts on the database feature inside of CUI notes. I think it is quite good. I think it still needs a bit of work until it is at the level that I personally would like it to be. There is also a question about whether or not I wanted to use link resources here or I actually wanted to do uh, just an at symbol or a link. It isn't the at symbol inside of this but I would want it to be a backlink to another page like this. So I wanted to add my resources like this uh, with a backlink, which is reference or double uh, brackets right here. Uh, or I wanted to actually do it with the linked resources right here. Uh, so it is a bit technical um, of a database. It isn't too easy to learn, but once you learn this, I think it can be powerful. And we also need a couple of more uh, type of views inside of here. Uh, we have the ability to add emojis to our databases like this. Let me see if I can actually press this like this and you will get an emoji in your databases. So overall I think it is a good start for a database feature but I think uh, there is still some more work that needs to be done. I would like something like a Kanban and a calendar view inside of this as well which I have not been able to find yet but as I said it is a great start for a database feature like this and it is it is technical, but um, if you don't want to actually use all of the features it offers, you could easily learn this as well. But the whole app in general is a bit technical and a bit hard to learn. But that is how databases basically work inside of this application. If you have any questions or anything you want me to do a video on, comment it down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.